What's up everybody, Trevor here, TNT Overhaul, working on a 2009 Ford F-250 Super Duty Power Stroke. Ran out of gas on the highway. Anybody that knows 64 Power Strokes knows that's a pain in the butt. Uh, says he added fuel, cycled the key. He says 10 times, 30 seconds each, but everybody knows once you get air in these systems, it's a pain in the butt. So um, anyway, yep, everything's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to show you real quick how I do it. There's fancy tools out there, but this is my method right here. It's kind of loud, I'm sure, but uh, i got a fluid evacuation pneumatic container. Uh, the hose that comes with it, of course, and then you can make your own. I just I have this, so I can control it here, too. Uh, but as long as you got a rubber piece right here. Now, what this is, this little concoction is your, your banjo bolt. If you don't have any extra, you can get them from Ford. They're not too bad, maybe seven bucks each. Uh, but I took a banjo bolt, I drilled a hole in the top, and I tapped it, and then I put a barb fitting in it. <laughs> it looks kind of janky, but it works. Anyway, uh, as you can see it over there, take out the banjo bolt in the back, uh, screw it in with your boat, you know, keep your washers in the same orientation they had them in, and then. Uh, what you want to do then is turn the key on and then flip your valve on. You're going to get fuel. Right now the key is not on, so let's turn the key on. Alright, we're inside. We're inside. And we got our key on. Oh, blinker's on too. Key's on. Got a lot of air in there. When she when she when when she turns solid, that's when we're good. So we're just gonna keep going until it turns solid. It's usually about it's supposed to be about 30 second intervals. Um, so when you see that horizontal pump kick off, turn the key off and do it again until we're solid. I'll show you what that looks like. Now we're getting solid. Look at that. That's it. That's solid, technically. That's solid. I mean, so we'll take it apart. Uh, put our fitting back in. I'll see if I can do that one handed. Let me turn off this air. Alright. Crack her loose here. All I did was I left this one down here. So we'll swap this black one right here. Try to hold the line down with my middle finger. Of course, if you're not recording a video, you can use both hands and it's a lot more convenient. I am gonna put you down for a second so I can swap the O-ring. Okay. Give a little pat for good luck. I've had to do this quite a few times. Not that I like to admit that, but uh, sometimes when you're doing the fuel filters and you don't prime it enough, you get some air in there. That's not a million foot pounds either. Um, I don't know the exact numbers, I'll give them to you, but tight and a quarter turn past. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, see if she fires. Sorry about the dinging. We're still going to cycle the key all the way on. Do that 30 seconds and do it a couple times. That wrench is low injector control pressure. Obviously, if you don't have good fuel pressure, you're going to get that. That's number two. Still not much on the gauge. I don't know how much you put in. I added about three or four gallons. So we'll get it fired and take it up the street and get some fuel. There's number three. 
got it right at the end on the fuel pressure. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Might have to do it a couple times here. Kind of strange because usually, usually you pump it, prime it a couple times, and then you're good. Is uh, that's how I uh, purge the air from uh, from the six four fuel system. So anyway, hope you find this knowledgeable, uh, helpful, and um, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I appreciate y'all, and uh, leave a comment if you need any help at all. Thanks a lot.